over the growing fight over the FISA court. The controversy over Obama-era abuses in the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court has Congressman Trey Gowdy now pointing to a need for a second special counsel to investigate it. The South Carolina lawmaker told me on Sunday Morning Futures yesterday that the inspector general may not cut it. I don't think the inspector general himself can answer all of our questions. Some of these witnesses have already left the department, which means the inspector general does not have jurisdiction. And there are other agencies like the State Department where Michael Horowitz at DOJ has no jurisdiction whatsoever. M Maria, over the weekend, mm -hmm. I counted up almost two dozen witnesses that the inspector general would not have access to were he alone conducting this investigation. So. I think we're trending perhaps towards another special counsel. Joining us right now is Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, good to see you. Oh, Do you agree morning. with this? Well, I partially agree and I partially disagree, so I'll, I'll explain to you. Special counsels are dangerous. They are just freestanding agents who indict people to justify their existence. We're going to talk in a few minutes about somebody we never heard of before and whether the United Arab Emirates was involved in the Trump mm. uh, They campaign. can go anywhere, especially they, they can go anywhere, and they do go anywhere, from Lawrence Walsh to, to Bob Mueller. I happen to believe Bob Mueller is an honest guy, but I also believe there is a great temptation. Joe Stalin once said, show me the man and I'll show you the crime, to keep digging, 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 mm. digging, digging until they can find one of the 4,400 federal criminal statutes that's been violated. Having said that, some of what Congressman Gowdy said is, uh, is very telling. How do they investigate think, themselves? Think of the inspector general as internal affairs in a police department, a police department within a police department to look at the other cops. So the inspector general is a mini DOJ in the DOJ to examine the rest of the DOJ to make sure they're abiding by the law. How many employees are there in the DOJ? 90,000. There's a couple of dozen that work for the inspector general. When they leave the DOJ, he no longer has authority over them. He can't subpoena them and he can't question them. And the principal person that he has to question will be on retirement as of the end of this week or early uh, next week, and that's Andrew McCabe. Right, right. Having said that, who chooses the special counsel? Well, if, if uh, Jeff Sessions is recused on all things Russian and Pfizer was related ostensibly on its face the, to, to the Russians because Carter Page said I'm working for the Kremlin while I'm working for Donald Trump. The decision will be made by uh, Rod Rosenstein. There are four FISA applications, three in the Obama administration approved by Jim Comey, mm. one during the Trump administration approved by Rod Rosenstein. So is he going to appoint a special counsel to investigate himself? Right. This is a very, very complex conflict-laden situation. I want, I, want to bring in Michael Muca I want to bring in Michael Mukasey's comment on this. He's obviously a former attorney general himself. He says that the Department of Justice should be handling this FISA investigation. Here's what he told me on Sunday Morning Futures. First of all, if I'm not a fan of special counsel, generally, uh, we have a Justice Department. The Justice Department can do criminal investigation. Right. 10,000 lawyers in the system. Hey, if they're warranted. Um, what is the conflict in this Justice Department in investigating that that episode, I don't see any. Um, th you have a special counsel only when there is a criminal investigation to be conducted and there is some good reason why the Justice Department can't do it. He's making a good point. Yes, he is, he is uh, making a good point. I mean, the Justice Department likes to commence investigations of DOJ people with the inspector general. Mm. It would rather discipline its employees for violating an internal regulation than prosecute one, in, uh, prosecute one of its employees for uh, committing a crime. But I happen to agree with uh, Attorney General uh, Mukasey. The Justice Department is competent to investigate itself. Now, Trey Gowdy used some great one-liners with you yesterday. Yeah. I wish I could have graded my own exams in college <laughs> uh, uh, and law school. I wish I could be work? a judge in my own case. I wish I could put my friends on the jury. It's different when you have 90,000 employees and you have different teams that have no connection with other teams that can do the investigation. Well, why not ask Bob Mueller to make this part of his investigation? You say he's an honest guy. That would be the obvious thing. He's, yeah. But why do that, they need a whole that, second that, special right. investigator? You know, this is and spoken 
It's like such a Wall Street Journal editor because <laughs> that would save the government a lot of money. That is a great idea. The team is already in place. Would he there's do no it? Ner would there's no do learning it? curve. I don't do think it? he'd have any choice but to do it if uh, Rosenstein expanded the jurisdiction. And I say that, of course, with great respect, would, would expand the uh, the jurisdiction uh, of Bob Mueller. Should Bob Mueller investigate? Which he's already done. Yes. Should Bob Mueller investigate Jim Comey's dropping the ball on prosecuting Hillary. Well, Jim Comey is a witness for Bob Mueller against Donald Trump and on the issue of why he was fired. I'm telling you, there are so many conflicts. And, and that's what Michael um, Mukasey brought up yesterday, too. He said, look, now Jim Comey has hired the very individual that helped him leak that letter to the New York Times, which actually ended up getting the special counsel. He said, I wonder if this is a way to get cover and get a client uh, well, client well, attorney yes privilege. And no. they weren't they weren't attorney and client at the time right. he leaked it on the other hand but now they no, are. no court is going to force the lawyer to cough up what the attorney told him during the time period of the investigation Good. even if what the attorney told him preceded the investigation if okay. you follow me Jim Comey has a book coming out and he's planning yeah, to yeah. sit down with George Stephanopoulos on ABC in his first television Maria, yeah. interview <laughs> No kidding, right? No. Uh, but does that complicate matters, or at all, based on what he says publicly, what he's art? Well, only he can tell us that when we read the book. I, I'd be surprised if there's anything in the book that contradicts what he said publicly. But the problem with writing a book before you testify under oath is you may have to say something under oath that's inconsistent with the book. He's willing to take that chance. Yeah. And meanwhile, they are expanding Mueller's investigation. Special yes. Counsel Robert Mueller could be expanding the investigation of the Trump administration. This is from the New York Times today, reporting that Lebanese American businessman and advisor to the United Arab Emirates, George Nader, is being questioned or has been questioned. What do you think this is about? Well, you remember when we never heard of George Papadopoulos, yeah. and then we know we never heard of Van der Zier, the Skadden Arps lawyer. None of us have really ever heard of this guy, yeah. but apparently he has had regular, consistent, systematic relationships with the campaign, the transition, and the White House itself, and he represents the UAE. Is that a crime? No. But there's something there that Bob Mueller believes is worthy of spending federal taxpayer dollars in order to investigate. Where this goes, I don't know, but like it's an you example said, when you're a special of counsel, you can go there anywhere. is no limit to where they can go. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Real quick, you know, when, when we've had Devin Nunes, Trey Gowdy, others on, they've thrown out the question of, well, Maybe at the end of the day, we don't even want the FISA court in place if it's getting abused. Well, I'm know, wondering if that's where this is going. I would, uh, I would be saying prayers of thanksgiving if, that, if that's the case. I've really? been attacking FISA since 1978 when yeah. it came out because it violates the Constitution by changing the standard that judges use to apply uh, to issue warrants. And the fact that it meets in secret and the fact that there's nobody there to challenge what the government introduces is, a, is, a, is the reason why these things are happening. But who's watching the foreigners then and for potential back no, wrongdoing? If don't, don't need a warrant to watch the foreigners. Okay. FISA is to get warrants on America. Uh-huh. All right, Judge. Really good point. Important insights from you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Judge. Judge Napolitano.